So we're going to go to uh, Ksenia from uh, Kordic. She's from Croatia. She's a member of radical feminist group Fem Revolt. She's women's human rights campaign co country contact for Croatia. Could you tell us how Fem Revolt was started and what you've been working on and what your work is now? Regarding the Fem Revolt, um, four of us founded it um, in uh, 2015. And uh, we are still, I think, the only um, um, nominally radical feminist uh, group in uh, all, all the area of former Yugoslavia. So I think this is uh, very uh, important. There are some radical feminists in other feminist uh, organizations, and there are a lot of them here. But um, uh, there is no organization that is exclusively radical feminist and based on the Ratham principles uh, all along. Uh, also, we are uh, grassroots. We are just informal group for now, but we are planning uh, to become uh, uh, an, um, um, what's the word, sorry. Um, uh, we are planning to become formal organizations so that we can legally protect ourselves from the attacks that are started coming in our way uh, since the last year, because um, uh, the, um, regarding the uh, declaration of uh, women's sex-based rights, we have published it on our website so people can read it always and access it in Croatian, but um, there hasn't been any uh, public um, discussion about it. And we are uh, always being attacked uh, for our stances on, tra on transgender rights uh, from the other feminist organizations. And uh, they mostly hold, um, uh, they they hold all the websites uh, that um, that publish any feminist issues or feminist websites. So we can't have any. Uh, we, we don't have any venue venue to um, to publish our our views or to challenge them directly. Are the um, most of the uh, feminist organisations liberal feminist then and, and pro transgender ideology in Croatia? Um, I'd say there are many uh, radical feminists and uh, radically leaning feminists, but they don't have this, uh, this venue where they can publish and, and I guess they don't want to publicly express their opinions because, you know, we are the only organization that is doing so. And um, we are uh, constantly attacked and um, demonized for it. And, you know, recently, it happened that uh, Center for Women's Studies uh, uh, selected a, a new uh, executive director. And um, this is the, the very young girl, she's like 24. Um, she has a really admirable CV, but um, she was viciously, very viciously attacked when she was uh, selected for executive director because uh, Six six months ago, she um, she uh, she posted on Facebook uh, J.K. Rowling's um, tweet about uh, about menstruators, like women aren't uh, menstruators, you know, and she was so viciously attacked, and um, it, it was like ten articles against her, against us, because they immediately connected Fem Revolt with her and with the uh, Center for Women's Studies and all sorts of um, conspiracy theories uh, aroused from it. It was really crazy. And we were denounced even as, uh, as fascists. So uh, I think it's, it would be a good move from our side to, to become formal organizations so that we can legally fight uh, this, um, these accusations. Do you have any support in Croatia or in other nearby countries, or are you very isolated? Uh, well, actually, we have uh, uh, support from individuals from other organizations. Uh, there are other radical feminists be besides us, but uh, not from the um, 
systemic level. I mean, there are there are no other organizations in uh, Croatia that could support us, but we have a very good um, collaboration with some organizations with some uh, leftist organizations from um, Serbia, like Marx Twenty One, and there are uh, uh, rising. Um, uh, more and more other uh, radical feminist organizations, like we have a female solidarity in Serbia. Um, so I think uh, the, the situation is getting better, but uh, the more we are getting stronger, the, the stronger are getting also uh, attacks on us. But uh, we are also very, um, we are explicitly a leftist group and we collaborate with uh, a lot of leftist organizations and, um, uh, th this is our political framework we, we like to work with. Yeah. So when they sorry when they attack us when, that we are right wingers or Nazis, it's really absurd, and everybody you know sees it clearly that that, that we are not. Uh, we are actually very much opposed to that. I I've been um, reading uh, Frederick Engels, who wrote, who is was a Marxist, obviously, working together with Karl Marx uh, about the materialist conception of history. Just you know, because it's interesting, and it links with some of your um, uh, your groups in Croatia and, as you say, in Serbia, the Marx Twenty One. Can you explain that? Because not everybody know understands that materialist conception well it is our uh, premise that um the, that capitalism is a form of patriarchy not to be vice versa as you know many socialist feminists say and uh, we are very much we really very much onto uh, Friedrich Engels the notion that women are a class that that uh, that's his um, thesis uh, that, that's his He's the first one that made this thesis, um, and um, we we base all, or almost all of our analysis on on, on this. And uh, we have very good uh, collaboration even with Croatian leftists. And <clears throat> during the past year, you know, we thought that because of the lockdown and everything, we won't be able to be uh, so much active and and go out. But uh, we even had uh, elections for parliamentary elections, and I was a candidate on the Socialist Workers' Party's list. Uh, so I made um, like a political statement on uh, behalf of radical feminism, and I put uh, uh, a whole, uh, not me, but Fem Revolt as organization, to me put in a whole um, feminist, radical feminist program uh, electoral program for uh, for uh, for uh, uh, election. So uh, we derived um, like um, uh, fifteen points for for women's liberation, and I think it was very important. And everybody uh, was um, introduced to our actual politics, so they can't uh, uh, input uh, like we want. Uh, to, to exclude trans, transgender persons from anything or, or anything like that. We're not against uh, trans people. We want their liberation just as we want uh, women's liberation, but we just have different uh, different uh, explanation of gender and how, how what's, what's its origin and how it affects uh, people and um, society. Yeah. And do you get, if you talk to um, people in Croatia, do, are you getting quite a lot of support or not so much? Oh, well, when I talk to uh, just, you know, ordinary people, they, they, they understand very, very easily what we are saying. You know, it's just a matter of um, common sense. But when you talk to this uh, political uh, queer Marxist leftist uh, clique, uh, it's very hard, it's very hard, it's almost impossible. And um, uh, because they are so detached from the ordinary people, I don't think they, are, they actually can have much political influence over anything. They can only uh, lobby in these small groups uh, with, the, uh, uh, with the established uh, political parties, but uh, even then their influence can be so strong because we have moderate conservatives uh, in government and very strong rather uh, Christian uh, right. So uh, th their activism is actually very, very limited. 
Yeah. How about self ID law and uh, the change in definition of woman? How's that going in Croatia? Well, I'm saying as if it's good, it would be very bad, but how, what's happening? Um, regarding that, um, it's uh, it's allowed, but uh, transgender persons, they have to prove that uh, they're living in the opposite gender for two years. Uh, and then they have to go to some uh, commission to, to be, um, for that to be affirmed. Uh, it's not so easy for them. Uh, it's actually uh, rather hard. I, I don't think we don't, we have more than 50 or uh, tops 100 uh, transgender persons so in Croatia. So um, I don't think there's, there's too much to say about that. Uh, of course, to me, the, the, the much, uh, uh, the much more diabolical issue is with, uh, with uh, minors taking hormone treatment. And uh, there, there's been uh, cases like 12 year, 12, 12 year olds. And, um, but you know, it's, uh, it's not even in media, it's not published. So it's really hard to, to speak about it. And we are also not the, the mainstream feminist organizations. So, you know, nobody is asking us even what we think about i can i can write about it on the, um, the facebook we have like seven thousand followers our, our page um but you know we, we still have very limited um, audience <laughs>